let's talk about two different ways of executing tests in Stata. The first one is to type the commands, like we did in the last video. And the other one is to use the drop down menus, which is going to be the focus of this video. So to show you this, I'm going to create another tiny data set, very similar to the one we created in our last video. Since I want to start from scratch, I'll clear status memory by using the command clear all. Now I'm going to create another empty data set with some observations, let's say 10 this time. So just type set OBS 10, press enter. And now we have 10 observations. Just look here in the properties window where I'm highlighting that you have 10 observations now. So the next step would be to type some commands to generate our ID variable. But since I want you to see how the menus work, I'm going to do this very same thing using the menus. So first we're going to create a new variable called ID containing our ID numbers. To do this, let's come here to data, create or change data, create new variable. Great. So you're going to see this dialog box over here. Just keep the variable type the same for now. Our variable name is going to be ID because you want identification numbers. And in contents of a variable, you have two options. The first one is to specify a value or an expression. And this is the one we're going to use now. Or you can just fill it with missing data. Lowercase n. And you have two options here. You can either press submit or OK. If you choose OK, this window is going to close. If you choose submit, it's going to create the variable, but the window is going to keep open. So that's what I want to do now. Just click submit. And notice that you have right here on your variables window, your new variable ID. Here, the same command you would execute was executed by Stata itself. So it kind of, it kind of creates the same command. And now we can move on to creating our next variable, which is the same we created in our last video called var. The expression is going to be ID. So the ID number times two, just like we did in our last video. And I'm going to create a third variable. So for now, I'm just going to press submit. Once again, note how we have our expression over here, generate var equals ID asterisk two. So we did not type that it was created by Stata. And here you have var in our variables window. So let us go back to this. And the third variable I want to create is going to be called missing. And you probably guessed that I'm going to fill it with missing data. Since this is the last variable I'm creating, just press OK. See the dialog box closes and we have generated missing data. Note that you generate missing data, you use pretty much the same syntax, but you just use a dot just a, or a period, whatever you prefer. And this is going to create to generate a variable called missing with all missing data. To see this, let's go back to data, describe data, sorry, there you go, describe data, list data. And just press OK. Just ignore everything. And here you go. You have 10 observations with three different variables. The first one is called ID, 1 through 10. The second one is our variable called var. And the third one is just a bunch of missing data. Well, by now you may have realized that using the drop down menus is somewhat simpler than having to remember and type a bunch of different commands, right? Well, as we advance in the course, you will learn that typing the commands is much more efficient in practice because it can save you a lot of time and it makes it much easier for other researchers to reproduce the results. So for this reason, I'm going to let you explore the menus on your own if you want, but for the rest of the course, we will rely mostly on typing our commands rather than using these menus.